Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my March favorites. I know it's already like 10 days into April, but I had a lot of things that I wanted to share with you. So the first thing I have here is one of my favorite things, and I've been using it for the last couple months, like on and off, but this really like completes any eye look you're going for. This is the Makeup Geek Sugar Rush Pigment. And basically why I really, really like this one is because if you look at it, I hate the things that they made, the little containers, but besides, that's besides the point because the product is amazing. If you look at it, it's got like a really like pearlescent, opaly, purple, pink, blue, green color. It's got like every color in the spectrum of colors, but when you put it like in the center of your lid to do like a halo look or something like that, it really like takes the color underneath it and makes it like so much more. It's so pretty. I like to use this for, again, the pop, of, uh, like a pop of color in the center of the lid. I like to use it on the inner corner. Um, this thing's just really amazing. I've used it for a couple looks that were really big hits on Instagram. Um, I used it in this look here. So I really, really love this stuff and I feel like for the five or six dollars that it probably is, it really completes your eye look and just makes it like go the extra mile. Next thing that I have here is a powder and I actually have two powders this month which is pretty amazing because usually powders don't blow me away by any means but this is the RCMA no color powder and of course everyone's talking about it right now and it really does have like really good reasoning behind it. I used to use the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder um, which is like $20 or more and I used to set it under my eyes and that's basically all I used it for. I also have her translucent powder but I never really got like on the back bandwagon for that one. It just really didn't do anything special but this one does. This one brightens everything. Like you put it on your face even if you just keep it there for a couple seconds and wipe it off it brightens it. It doesn't take much time. I like to use this under my under eyes and then I like to use it like down here when I'm sculpting out my contour. It's just a really great powder. It's super lightweight. It doesn't make anything like cake up it's just it's amazing like everyone said it is now the other powder that I wanted to talk about is actually in one of my extra Z palettes and I got two of these this is the uh, HD pro powder refill from Graftobian makeup not sure if I said that right I this was the first thing that I've ever tried from their brand and um, I heard from Andrew's off day that he he loved this stuff so I got it um, I did get the refill, I didn't get like the whole palette. I also got the color, I think it's Cleopatra. This one's Fair Maiden, by the way. Um, but this is just like a setting powder or like a finishing powder. And this stuff is amazing. You could use this like solely as a foundation. It's It's got amazing coverage. It is so creamy and so buttery. It's so nice. And I know those use, those words get so overused. But like when I put my brush in the powder, like a, a ton of it like picked up, which I mean is a really good thing and really bad because the product goes away fast but I haven't had any problems with like hitting pan or anything like it hasn't used too much but I really really love this it has amazing coverage and it just makes the skin look absolutely flawless and I said I did get another color and my original reasoning for getting this was for bronzing and I haven't even tried it for bronzing yet because when it got here it was a little too orange for my liking because I have super fair skin so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use this I might use this like as a transition shade or something I'm going to end up trying it out for bronzer but I just haven't had the balls to do it yet. The next product I have here I got a couple weeks ago when I went to the Florida Mall. They had this collection just coming out and this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Skin Twinkle Lighting Palette. So basically there's two highlighters in here and then there's like a filtered light is what it's called shade in the middle which I don't care for at all but here are the colors there. They are absolutely gorgeous. We have like this pink like sand colored highlight. We've got the setting powder that's like a banana color. And then we also have like this pink champagne silvery gold highlight. I don't even know how to explain this one. They're both really pretty. But the powders are so finely milled that it just like glides on the skin. It doesn't look glittery or chunky. It's just a really beautiful highlight. Um, I would say that the results are similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlights, which I really, really love, but the powders aren't made the same way, but they do look on the skin the same, like after you've applied it. So I'm really not sure how to explain that, but I really, really enjoy this palette. Um, it is a little pricey. I 
believe it was $42. I'll put it right here. But I'm really happy that I have it because if you saw here, the pan size is really, really big. So you're getting two huge highlighters for $42. So technically, if you, you know, think of it, you're getting the, them for $21 each. And for how big the pan size are, I think that's a pretty good price. It just looks a little like a big number whenever you're buying it for one palette. Okay, so I have two more makeup related things. Uh, the next thing I have is this Burt's Bees lipstick. I guess it doesn't have a special name, but it looks like this here. I was getting carried away with myself. You guys have probably seen these in the drugstore. Um, I saw these. I didn't pick them up, and then my brother ended up getting them for me. He got three different shades. I got like Suede Splash, I got Nude, and I got another color that I can't remember. But my favorite one is the color Nude, and on the bottom of them, the color like shade that it shows is not accurate at all to what the actual product looks like. On the bottom, it looks like an almost orange color, and if you see it there, it's like this really pretty nude color. And I just love this because it's like a My Lips But Better lipstick, and whenever I put it on, like it's super moisturizing, so I thought it was going to kind of wear off pretty fast um, with it being like a drugstore product and with it just being like this sheer lipstick. But it actually like kind of stained my lips, not in a bad way, but I was drinking a smoothie two classes in a row and I noticed that there was stuff coming off on the straw, but nothing was really coming off on my lips. Like the color had stayed, it didn't look crackly, it didn't like in accentuate my dry spots, it didn't do anything bad. I really loved it and I wore it again last night and I loved it just as much. Um, I think these are really, really great. They're super moisturizing and they feel really light once you put them on. So these are a win and if you like the other colors that they have in the collection, they don't have too many nude colors. They have some kind of like, a lot of like berry, deep berry colors. So if you dig those and those are awesome, but this nude one is amazing. All right, so my last favorite for the month of uh, March, for the month of March, is this brush. And this is the... Antonym, I think is how you say it, the Antonym number no. 2 brush, and I'm not exactly sure what this is intended for, but I like to use it for a blush, as you can see there, but basically it's like got this wood handle, it's got this black little piece here, and it's really like, at the bottom it's really like, it's tight here and then it kind of like fluffs out. I really like it. It's got like this paddle type bottom, and then it like filters out there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like it. And it's amazing for applying blush because you can like get that little paddle right there and then you can like kind of blend it in with your contour. It's really, really nice. Um, it's super fluffy, super soft, and it's just a really great brush. Okay, so my next couple favorites are things that I've talked about on Instagram. So if you follow my Instagram, I'll put it right here. Then you've probably already seen these, but they are such good products that I just feel that I need to share them with everyone. And I'm sure you guys ex are expecting this, so I'm going to go ahead and do it first. This is the Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. So I got a four pack of these probably about a month and a half ago from Ulta. It was kind of one of those things. I was like strolling around and I was like, hmm, do I want to try this? Do I want to try this? So I picked up the four pack of these and I used them and then I made my brother use them and then I made my mom use them and then I made my boyfriend use them. I loved them so much. I was like, listen, you guys will really, really like these. They're amazing. So um, I ended up using that pack. I got a sample pack and I used that too. And then I decided when Ulta had their beauty steals or something like that, these were on sale. So I got the pack of eight and these are amazing. I'll insert a picture of me wearing them. They aren't like the most beautiful things, but they make your under eyes feel amazing. They feel so nice after you use these. It's got like a cooling effect, but it's not like super cold but it, it's just amazing. Like they make your eyes feel better they make your eyes look better. And like I said before, I wish I could use them every morning, but I just don't have the money to use them every morning. But if I did, I definitely would. These are great for whenever you wake up and you feel tired or at the beginning of, or at the end of the day and you need to pick me up. These are bueno. The next thing I have here is a moisturizer and I'm super picky and finicky about my moisturizers because I do have oily combination skin, um, but Pearlies actually sent me this and this is their Pore Pur Moist Hydro Balance Moisturizer and it says it's for normal to dry skin and when I got it I was like, oh no, like I have oily combo skin, I don't know if this is going to work for me but it has been amazing. Their products are known for helping people with sensitive skin, so their company is more geared toward like people with sensitive skin, and I love this. 
I don't know what it is. It feels so nice. It has like a sunscreeny smell, which I don't mind at all because I really like the smell of sunscreen, but it doesn't feel like that greasy sunscreen on your face. It's really, really nice, and it helps like those areas that I get dry patches, and it also feels really nice on my oily areas too, so... I highly recommend trying this out. I also use their Blue Lotus Eye Serum, which is really, really nice. And I also use their Brightening Serum for my whole entire face. If you guys want to see my like skincare routine for the morning and at night, let me know down below. Um, I do use a lot of Pure Perlice stuff. I cannot talk today. But I do use a lot of their stuff, and I absolutely love this moisturizer. Okay, so last but not least, I have one of my favorite products that I've been loving for this entire month and the month before, and this is the Pixie Skin Treats Nourishing Lip Polish. So this is basically, it's called a gentle lip scrub. I don't really think that it's a lip scrub, but I do feel that it exfoliates my lips. So it says, this Lux Lip Exfoliator renews and soothes lips, and I 100% agree with that. It's got the coolest little head on it, and I'm not sure if you can see it here. If not, I'll insert a picture, but it's got like this little head where it's got like these little like alligator teeth almost is how I would explain it and basically you squirt the product up and you rub it on and those like alligator teeth are supposed to exfoliate but I find that it's got like a grapefruit scent and I really think that grapefruit is something that like is for exfoliating I think that is more exfoliating than these little heads but I really do like the little application guide because if I have some like loose skin on my lips when I wake up in the morning it does take that off but it's not super harsh so I really really appreciate that it's not harsh it does have like those little silicone heads and this is really great. I do like to use this like um, in the morning when I first wake up and at night when I go to sleep and then something heavier throughout the day because this does kind of like fade away on your lips. I wouldn't say that it's super long lasting but it does smooth them out and exfoliate and it's amazing. Okay so that was all of my favorites for the month of March. If you guys have favorites let me know down below and I would love to check them out. I have my Sephora 15% off little coupon code that I want to use so let me know down below what your favorites were and I look forward to seeing you guys on my next video. Bye!